it's um, Piranha Woot. That's not how you say <laughs> it. Piranha <laughs> Woot. Piranha Woot. Okay. Anyway, Piranha Weep. <laughs> Piranha Weep was pretty f***ing awesome. We're by Coral Pink Sand Dunes outside of Kanab, Utah in the middle of nowhere on sandy roads trying to find a canyon that we don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> um, left, I gotta navigate, so we'll get back to this. Uh, these roads are an adventure. It's exciting in spots, right? <laughs> yeah, say yeah. the least. We are doing Piranha Weep. I'm gonna call it Piranha Weep. It's Paiute, right? It's what? Paiute. Yes. Paiute for like really fast, loud water in a canyon. <laughs> Something a little more technical. I'll put it what it means. But you can either start by Mount Carmel and do this just open wash. We found some back roads off of some canyoneering beta that will bring us really close to the narrows of Piranha Weep. Um, that's the good part. It'll cut several miles, got 10, 15 miles off of this trip. I'm trying to drive and not get stuck, so don't look to me for help right now. Well, you gotta make sacrifices for hey, the content. Um, where do I go here? Uh, straight. Wait. Straight? Oh, Fuck. don't stop. Well, where am I supposed to go? <laughs> What we're finding is there's a lot of roads that aren't marked, it branches off, you don't know which way to go. And if your navigator's talking to the camera and you stop, uh, it's tough to get started in the sand. So I got stuck there. We're gonna, I'm gonna pay attention to navigation now and talk more later. That was panic inducing. That was, <clears throat> yeah. She freaked out at the beginning. I freaked out at the end. I drove well though, I think. Pretty good driver. Yeah, she did all right. <laughs> this is the sketchiest road I've been on. I'm not really familiar with driving in deep sand, but man. I'm sure it doesn't give, do it justice, but. Some butt clenching moments. About 14 miles of them. So today we're gonna do Piranha Weep. The traditional route is to come in at Mount Carmel Junction and that involves a lot of walking in an open wash. Not very scenic, full of cow shit. Just other ways in, other ways out. We have put together what we think will work. Going in a yeah, canyoneering sneak route into Rock Canyon which is what we were going to camp in anyway, so it'll drop us right in where we wanted. Had those roads to deal with, but cutting off a lot of miles from the hike, and this is not well defined as far as trails go. Canyoneering sneak routes seldom are, and this is not a super popular canyon, so we'll see. Had to slap this together in a day. I love going in these half-researched. We'll see how it goes. We are. What do you think? Oh my God. This is so beautiful. Would that take us an hour, maybe? Yeah, the approach, I mean, the road sucked, but the approach, oh my God. Yeah, that was eight hours worth of hiking condensed to like an hour. We're here, yeah. it's beautiful. There's trees, shade everywhere. The Virgin, uh, East Fork, and- It's beautifully clear. Yeah, it's, it's like crystal clear. 
this is going to be an awesome campsite for the night. Yeah. And we get to put our packs down after hiking for an hour. <laughs> Less than a mile. <laughs> and sleeping in. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So, all right. Not looking forward to driving out. We're not going to think about that yet. <laughs> we'll think about that in a couple of days. set up for the night. Time to kick back and relax. Not a bad spot. why I thought this was like a two mile day. It's like eight or 10. Yeah, you were telling me before today was like a 10 mile day. I don't, I don't know. I'm an old man, I forget things. There's a lot of colors. I don't know where to go. See a lot of colors. Only feeling blue. There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others Between only having so much time and a long way to go and water and wind It's like, yeah, I can't uh, I can't talk that much I know you're so excited to hear what I have to say It's so <laughs> disappointing for all the viewers I think it'll be better when we get into the cooler Yeah, we'll figure it out Yep. Why on the open sea cannot take this anymore? There are a lot of voices drowning in the sea. Yeah, we've been going too slow. We waited got a late start because we thought we'd be more in the water wanted it to warm up oh, it was okay. really cold this morning yeah it was really cold last night yeah i just don't know if we're gonna get where we want to go i don't know if we'll get to see everything <clears throat> yeah so we gotta book it yeah we're gonna book it for a while and then we'll worry about video let's go there are a lot of choices waiting to be made too many choices Making me afraid Dreams are not the same for me Standing by the shore Yeah, that was a raging waterfall. <laughs> Check out these cat prints right here. What are they? Cat prints. No claws on those. Oh, those are cat. Yeah. yeah. Bob, that, that, yeah, bobcat, probably. You gotta go right up there. And the waterfall is impassable. Looking down canyon to the left, there's a crack you can go up. 
and about most of the way up it. No problem so far. Common theme on our videos, start late, run out of time, <laughs> have to go really fast, and question whether you're gonna get where you're supposed to go. I don't know if we're gonna make it, we're getting pretty close. I would have liked to have seen Labyrinth Falls. Here they're really difficult to get to and I have no idea what they look like, so I don't know if it's worth it. But I at least wanted to see Misery Canyon and the plow, uh, the Powell plaque, Powell plaque. We're close. I think we'll make it. You may regret it on the way home. So, been at it four hours. It's like we're a half mile out from our goal been going slow but it's dark around nine i brought one headlamp five hours back responsible turnaround time given some leeway would be right about now we're not going to turn around about now though are we no no we're going to keep going of course we are duh <laughs> we'll just go super fast on the way back yep it'll be fine that's how we do it'll be fine I think we made it to misery. We're right up there. Yeah, this part should be pretty cool. misery uh i wish i could get to that place with the arch i can't make it not with these shoes okay. it's too slick i couldn't get past that last climb wrong shoes no helmet, no gear, poor climbing skills. <laughs> Let's blame the climber here. I, I suck at up climbing, but still really cool. Got a canyon near that one one of these days. <laughs> All right, go for it. <laughs> I might get your phone wet. All right. Keep going down now. <laughs>
All right, that's the Powell plaque. Now we've got to figure out how to hike what took us five hours in about two and a half. Think we, think we can do it? <laughs> um, well, unless we want to be back at nine. I'd like to be back at like seven. So yeah, we got to shave two hours off our time. No problem. Great walking conditions. Well, we made it back. We did. It was awesome. And I'm exhausted. Same. Mm -hmm. Ready for drinks, ready for this wind to die down, eat all of our food. But um, Piranha Whoop. Piranha Weep was pretty awesome. It was. He's going to bleep me out on that one because he's no fun. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> but anyways, what'd we do? 12 miles? I thought you were going to make me say Peruna Weep again. <laughs> oh, you said it. <laughs> ah, Peruna Weep. Oh. Yeah, great. Yeah, like 12, 13 mile day. I um, feel it. Yeah, definitely feel it. If your car can get to where we parked and hopefully ours can get back out of where we parked. Uh, this is the way to see this place. I think this is the way to do it. Yeah, well, how far did we go up? Desola Desolation gullies? Yeah. Yeah, which is a couple of miles from here and everything between here and there was, it was pretty, but I mean, it, it's just, it got just beautiful right around the corner towards the waterfall going downstream. And that whole trip was awesome. Yeah, except for all the cow in the sand and the ups on the banks, but. A lot of fun, beautiful ass kicker though definitely and i hope god we can get out of here tomorrow yeah a little worried about that and then go to escobar's in canab and fill up on mexican food. oh escobar's yeah that's good stuff anyway that's it I'm done um don't know why i'm still talking yeah I mean, we're, i thought we're, we're, we cut we're, that we're done. <laughs> Gravel road. <laughs> I've never been so happy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have arthritis from doing this. I had a clip nut butter build bar. There's gonna be a lot of editing on this. Yeah. Oh, this road's fun. I hope it's the right one. You <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call it Piranha Weep. Well known for the vast population of piranhas in the Narrows. <laughs> and <laughs> I don't know. That sounds delightful. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> Smile if you're having fun. <laughs> Smile if you're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stuff like this. Dude, what kind of slender man was going on back then, right? <laughs> like that's not that's not a person. It's up with his hands and his toes. It's terrifying. What was going on back then? Wait, I don't have my hat on. Hey, we made it back. <laughs> we didn't cut two and a half hours off, but we cut two hours off. And I don't have my hat on. And we felt them. You gotta do it over again. What? Look at this. Prepare yourself at all times. <laughs> <sighs> we made it back. Yeah, and I just turned the camera on as I put Fritos in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> You're never ready.